Hello and welcome back. So today we'll be talking about directions, uh, specifically directions in Hawaiian. Now in the Hawaiian language, rather than saying left and right, very often drivers, when they say, turn to the left, turn to the right, they'll say something like, turn mauka or turn makai. And the direction that is mauka or makai can also mean left or right, depending on where you are. Because mauka means inland, and makai means towards the sea. So depending on where you are on the island, if you're driving on a coastal highway, for example, if the mauka is on the right, then makai is on your left. If makai is on your right, mauka is on your left. It depends on where you are. Okay, so this is a very interesting way of orienta orientating yourself. And um, let's see the opposite of mauka, which is inland, is makai, which means uh, towards the sea or to uh, towards the ocean, like this. And very often, mauka also means to go uphill, because on many islands in the Pacific, uh, the seaside is lower than the inland area. The land area often is where the hills are and the jungles are. So to go uphill, to go to the jungle, all that is mauka, and makai means to go out to sea. And let's see where this words, these two words come from. Okay, so mauka comes from ma-uka. So ma it could be a, a word that describes um, adjectives. It could also be a word used in location, so at somewhere, and uka means uh, inland or upland. And likewise, makai, uh, we've talked about the word kai before, I think, in one of my earlier videos. So makai, ma is again the same prefix, and kai means the sea or the ocean. And if we look at where the word uka comes from, let's take a look at one by one, these words one by one. Mauka and uka. So uka is the Hawaiian word for inland or to go upland, and it's related to the word uta. So notice that the K sound in Hawaiian is often the T in Tongan or Samoan or Maori. And all these mean inland. And they all come from the reconstructed proto austronesian This is reconstructed, so nobody knows for sure how it was actually pronounced. But we have a pretty good idea by comparing its uh, descendants. So it's Utan or Utsan, and it means inland. And this is the origins of the Malay-Indonesian word Hutan. You probably know this word from the word Orang Utan. And uh, it literally means the man of the jungle. And this is where it comes from, from Malay or Indonesian. It was borrowed into English and Dutch and brought to the rest of the world. So that, uh, there you have it, the orang utan. The utan is the same as the uka in Hawaiian. And interesting developments in other languages. For example, in Cebuano, I know this word exists. Utan means vegetables, I think. Uh, Filipinos, please correct me if I'm wrong. Utan means vegetables. And you see the relationship. Because when you go, um, in the ancient times, when people went inland from the sea, they would go into the jungle, and from there, you know, that's where the hills are, and that's also where people would often pick vegetables and, 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 and plants uh, to eat. So, yeah, vegetables from the land, and inland is utan, or uka, which is where the forests are, so that's the connection. And let's take a look at the other word, kai. So the word for the sea, kai, or the oceans in Hawaiian, are is related to um, the words that begin with t, tai, in other languages, in Rapa Nui, in Tahitian, in Maori, and I think even in Samoan and Tongan, they say Tai, or, and in some languages, Tasi, meaning the sea, and they all come from the proto austronesian Tasik, which means the sea or the ocean. Uh, in in Samoru, it's Tasi, Tasi, and it means the sea. And in other languages, they often this word often goes uh, and changes a lot. It undergoes a lot of semantic shifts. Uh, you have, for example, the word tasik in Tagalog, which I think means salt water. Uh, again, I'm only a beginner in Tagalog, so if I'm wrong, please, please correct me. Uh, feel free to comment below. And in Malay, this is where you have the most dramatic change. Tasik in Malay and Indonesian means uh, lake. So this is a very interesting shift from sea to salt water to lake. I don't know why... Malay and Indonesian have this change from sea to lake, but if you do know, let me know and comment below. I'm very, very interested in finding out. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, thank you very much. I'm keeping it short today. And if you have any comments, any questions, uh, just feel free to comment below. And don't forget, please like, share and subscribe. Until next time.